the third message. It is a vision, a prophetic parable, a vision about a certain African country. About a certain African country. The message is based on Daniel chapter 11, verse 27. It says, But these kings' hearts shall be bent on evil, and they shall speak lies at the same table, but it shall not prosper, for the end will still be at the appointed time. I know the scripture might be confusing, for people who are not students of biblical prophets, but I'm reading this scripture to contextualize what I saw in a vision. Towards daybreak today, God showed me a vision of five men seated at the same table, attempting to marshal an agreement of some sort. I realized that the one who chaired the meeting had two heavily armed bodyguards. The chairman was also wearing a military or an army uniform. The Spirit of God says he is not among them, or he was not among them. And for this reason, two other men who pretend to be friends of the chairman were carrying tankers under the table, you know, knives. They were carrying tankers as if ready to strike the chairman when he least expected it. The Holy Spirit says, they shall sign the agreement but it will not be worth the piece of paper it is written on. They will lie to each other at the same table, just like these kings in the book of Daniel chapter 11, verse 27. Their agreement will not hold in the near future. As soon as the agreement is signed, they will start calling each other names because the Lord is not among them. And the Lord has not blessed their agreement, says the Spirit of God. This will take place in a certain African country I have spoken about in the past. God is today stopping my speech about this country for a period of about five months. So that's what God told me, not to speak about this country that I'm referring to in this message for a period of five months. Because God, even if he shows me a vision, I will just compile the visions that he will be showing me about this country. Because the country is of interest to me in my prayers. It has been so over more than two years now. So God said, whatever you will be showing me as I intercede with other intercessors for the country, I must record it in a book and not to speak it to anyone through YouTube or Facebook or even privately, I must keep what he shows me to myself about this country until he has accomplished certain things in that country. So uh, it's a country where the leaders in that country, five of them, I saw five of the leaders in that country, they are just about to sign an agreement. But according to the spirit of God, the agreement does not amount to anything because it's not among them. That's what the Holy Spirit told me. Which means even if they sign an agreement to do, uh, you know, a coalition, according to the Spirit of God, they will fragment in the near future. This is what we have seen by the Spirit of God. They can take it or leave it, but what we have seen, it shall come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.